This stuff is amazing. I've used it in this other spot, I'll show you, but it removes oil stains overnight. So this little gem right there is from the uh, security camera company. And this over here is what's left of that car leaking oil because the knuckleheads at Firestone didn't put the oil filter back on all the way. So that's what's left. And over here, there's a few more spots. And uh, I'll show you where I used it before and it worked amazing. So that right there is an oil stain. That is an oil stain. That and that, probably that is an oil stain. But if you look right here, right here, right there, this, that, that clean spot right there, that was an oil stain. Actually, that right there is probably a little bit, maybe, maybe not. Nah, that's probably not oil, but this clean spot right here was just all oil dribbles. So see this right here? That's a little bit left. There was so much oil. I wish that I thought to do this video. I tried the Rust-Oleum product. There, now you can see. This really needs to be pressure washed, but now you can see the, the clean spot. That's from this stuff. I tried the product from Rust-Oleum and it didn't work. This, I'm gonna actually see if it'll help remove that. So there used to be a palm tree here. It was actually one of these, foxtail palm. And um, it, the, the berries dropped and the berries sat there for probably a year because the house was vacant and they just stay in the driveway. So I'm gonna try it there, but let me show you how much of this product you use. And then we're going to uh, come back in the morning and I'll show you, uh, it just sucks the oil right out. It's unbelievable. Stay tuned. It would be super if this was kind of a squeeze, like a nozzle, but it isn't. It's just, you have to pump, puncture the foil. And I'm just gonna pour, oops, I forgot to shake it. I gotta shake it, hold on. All right, now I have shaken it and I'm just gonna pour a little bit where the stain is. And it's gonna dry to kind of a plastic looking like dried milk maybe. Oh, there's a little mark right there. And here. And that's all I'm doing. I'm not cleaning this first. I'm not making it wet. I'm just... That's all I'm doing. So let's make sure I got all the spots here. That's the cap. I'll come back for that. I think these two might be... have some oil on them. So I'll just give it a little... think right here is a little bit and I think that's pretty much it for over here you know, to test it let's just put a little bit right here and see if that cleans up palm tree seed stain I actually have another one of these bottles this is 32 ounces we'll see how far it goes there's that one and we'll do these last ones over here and then that's it you just let it sit overnight and you spray it off with the hose in the morning okay it's morning and you can see this stuff is dried to like like a plastic you can see it all down there ah, 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 ah. get away from there
Although I don't have any experience with it hurting the grass, I decided to spray it away from the grass. It actually puddles on the other side of the driveway. It puddles down in the grass. So if it does, if it would hurt the grass, it would have definitely done it back there, uh, and it didn't. Uh, when you spray it in the morning, it looks like this. It's just kind of like soap suds, and the area that built up in between the pavers clumps into like these little balls, like the size of peas. And I guess you could continue to blast those little peas with the hose and they would break up, but I didn't bother. And what happened last time I did this is the, the rain just kind of dissipates it over time. Um, you don't even see them, they look like little pebbles. And I think if you do this on concrete, you wouldn't end up with that problem uh, because it wouldn't clump up down in between the pavers. That's the part that turns into these little pebbles. But it looks like soap, basically. And I do try to blast the area where I put the product until the water runs clear. That's really my only advice is just, because I think you're pulling oil and product out of the paver as you're rinsing it like this. Uh, and it leaves a really clean mark. You can already start to see where that clean area is. Clearly it only works on petroleum because this is plant matter and it didn't work. It didn't do anything. And I, I haven't found anything that'll remove these berry stains. I've pressure washed it. Um, I've used bleach. They, it just seems to be, you know, permanently. If you have anything that removes a plant stain or an organic stain that you can think of, uh, drop it in the comments. I'd appreciate it. You can see it's gone, totally gone. You're left with these clean spots, almost like it was bleached. But uh, the stuff is amazing. I mean, I can't even see where the spots were. Amazing. Anyway, if you're looking for something to clean oil off of uh, concrete or pavers, this stuff was amazing. So thanks for watching. See you next time.